going here. And then yeah, we'll again, the, 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 the mic, like the left up thing. We are now being joined by Janae Harding. We'll be given a few questions from within the room. Oh, let me hold up, guys, let me, so you can hear. Let me grab some water. <laughs> All righty. Janae, congrats on the win. Uh, talk to me about how you're feeling coming out of that one. Yeah, man. I mean, it's good. It's good to be back after a year. Not the way that I wanted to win, but look, man, you get what you get. And I feel like uh, definitely one thing I'm taking away is my maturity. I'm finally getting that fight IQ. I felt like uh, I didn't get much of an amateur career. So there was a lot of learning on the job um, in a promotion like Bellator, which is uh, not really what you want, but I'm glad that now I'm proving to myself that this is where I deserve to be. Uh, I'll find a way. And, and this, is, uh, this is how I get the win now. It's feeling good. Talk to me about that consistency. That's three wins and four <laughs> fights for you. So, uh, you know, what, what have you found to, to be able to, to hit your stride like this? Um, I find, I think just finding my mindset, like that was a big thing during the whole thing. It's like not going to fights on autopilot, um, kind of sometimes I guess you go into to sparring rounds on autopilot cause you're in fight camp and you're just, you're just chilling. And, um, some days you can't, you can't turn on every day, I guess. So um, you sort of expect it to happen. So this is the first time, not the first time, but consistently throughout these last three, few fights, I've tried to just be here, be in this moment, know that I'm meant to be here, know that this is exactly where I need to be. And therefore, once I get in that cage, um, it's the performance that I want. Did she, did she surprise you at all? She was pretty tough. Uh, she hit you with a good left hand there in the first round. Um, not, definitely not an, an easy outing by any means. No, no way. Um, I knew she was going to be experienced. So obviously she had that over me. Um, I did expect to be stronger. Um, coming into this fight, I'm a lot leaner and I'm kind of walking around a little bit lighter, which is something different. Um, it's good for me because I'm faster. But at the same time, um, I think I do um, lack a little bit of strength. Um, she was a lot stronger than I expected because um, I can usually muscle a few positions rather than stay them technically but with her I had to do everything by the book um, to get out of it and to get in that dominant side so uh so yeah I mean I, I didn't underestimate her by any means but yeah there was a few things I couldn't get off my kicks as much as I wanted to and uh, yeah she was a little bit stronger but credit to her she's she's a veteran and, and she's a super tough lady so so I expect nothing less she had you in an interesting submission there like kind of a TP or scorpion I forget what they call it but how was that was that tight at all was that close to being any sort of trouble for you I knew that I had the the gap between my shoulder um, the whole time so it wasn't it wasn't gonna be a triangle at least um, but yeah it was hard to pop out I couldn't swim my shoulders through so I had to kind of sit and be patient. Um, I surprised myself in that sense because a lot of times you'll see my fight, I kind of just start going a bit nuts and, and going for the shots because I want to land hands. But, um, but I'm glad I took my time and slowly got out of it because she would have definitely caught me if I had rushed it or done something stupid. And I said that she, you know, clipped you with a good left in the first, but you almost got a submission there at the end. So do you feel like people kind oh, of, uh, you know, put you guys into boxes too much about striking versus grapplers, but really you guys are full MMA artist? 100%. If you ask anyone that actually knows me, um, they kind of, I guess I favor the striking for sure, but but I'm definitely no slouch on the ground. Um, my ground game is definitely more MMA style. So if you put me in jujitsu only, for sure there's going to be differences. But in the way of MMA, I know how to stay strong. I've never been submitted. So you can't really say that I'm, I'm just a cookie cutter striker um, without any grappling. Um, and I feel like I did show that tonight. Last one for me, obviously, I'm guessing you're going to have to have some stitches there, but uh, First time. when do you want to get back in there? You think this is this will be your last fight of 2020 or you think, uh, just talk to me about that. Um, I mean, I hope not. Um, I'm a fast healer. Um, these are, this will be my first cut in, in 20 something fights. So um, I'm a little bit surprised in a sense, but I really don't feel like it's going to take that long to bounce back. I know Leah's keen. She's going to come back from her surgery soon. Um, she was aiming for December. So maybe not December just because I've got a quarantine on the way back. Um, but yeah, definitely January, Feb. I'd love to come back as soon as possible. Thank you. Our next question will come from the line of Keith Schillen. Go ahead, Keith. Hey, Janae, congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, so, Janae, one thing we do in the media and fans also do is when a fighter loses a fight, we kind of write them off. Uh, you just turned 26. You won three of your last four. You just beat uh, one of the top ranked girls in the division. Do you think you're just now entering the, your primes and that's why we're seeing such a great performance tonight? 100%. Um, like I said in the last interview, um, I really was learning on the job in a, in a promotion like Bellator, which is not really what you want, but due to the lack of amateur career I had and the lack of experience that I could, could 
get in on the Australian scene. And, and I guess when I went to Asia, um, I am really now just kind of everything's settling, everything's coming together. I am getting that well-rounded sort of nature. And I feel like I really showed that tonight that my maturity is finally coming out. So now I'm a, I'm a force to be reckoned with. I, I'm really ready to step, step it up and work towards that title. Uh, another thing about you, you know, when we break down your skill set, you're known for your striking. Uh, you're also known for your athleticism. Your opponent, Jesse Mealy, she's more known for that like high pace grinding style. That's the kind of fight we had. What kind of statement do you think that you made tonight that you actually won those battles? I feel like, um, as much as we expected it to go a different way, I would have really liked to show my striking, but I'm glad that I went to plan B or plan C and I, I made those problem solving decisions and I came up with the solution of just ending on top, um, getting the takedowns when I needed, um, working towards uh, the top position and working in those top positions. Um, I just feel like I just made the adjustments to, to finish in the most dominant nature. And, and for that reason, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm showing my maturity, I'm showing my fight IQ and I'm, I'm coming and putting it together. Donna Corby. Hi, Janae. How's it going? Good, thank you. How are you? Uh, not too bad. Three rounds, uh, your first cut in your pro career, but the real fight only starts when you have to try to get back into Australia, right? 100%. <laughs> it's going to be a long way home, but uh, but it's all worth it now. I can I can take this win home with me at least, so I'm not sitting on those 40 hours of flying um, in a depressed state at least. But, uh, but yeah, it's going to be a little while and a couple of weeks quarantine. A little time to reflect and really uh, critique the shit out of this freaking performance, but, uh, but it'll be all positive. Look, if we're being honest with, with ourselves, the, the winner of this fight was never going to be facing Chris Cyborg next, but it's very much a consequential fight for the division. I know that your last fight you had scheduled was was going to be a huge event in, in London. It was going to be on the, the main card. Did you feel like maybe your fight should have been higher up on the card tonight? I like, as much as I was super excited when I was matched up against Leah to finally be on a main card, it's not something that I hold on to. Um, to be honest, it's much easier for my, my guys back in Australia. So uh, so shout out to the Bellator team if we can make it a little bit easier to watch in Australia. But for that reason, I kind of get excited to be on the prelims. I love to get in and get out. I love for it to be an early night. Krispy Kreme's open. Can still go out and grab one. I've been waiting a while for one. So there's positives and negatives. Of course, the main card gets a little bit more exposure. And I do feel like this this is my fifth fight in the promotion, so I would expect to kind of be, I guess, seen a little bit better, but it's not like just because you're on a main card you get treated better or anything like that. Um, it's like I still, I still get the guys around me. This is an amazing, amazing team. They all treat us equally. They all look after us, so it's not really here nor there, but um, if it's looking like in the future, I'll probably start being on those main cards, and I'm glad that I got to get another prelim in while I still can and I can enjoy early nights and, um, and getting out there. We'll take a couple more questions here. Lenny? How's it going, uh, Janae? How are you? Good, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations on the win. And uh, uh, today you bounced back from the, the, the back into the win column after a loss uh, to Amanda Bell. How does that feel? It feels fantastic. Um, a little bit disappointed in my last performance. I feel like what I did in this performance really showed, um, I guess, the difference. I feel like I... Um, it's been a tough couple of years, to be honest. So I feel like that last fight, I didn't have that grunt into me. I, I lost my fight. I lost my spark a little bit. Um, that third round came around and I just didn't bite down and, and get out of those positions when I, it was really the difference between 30 seconds of winning or losing. So to come back and avenge that loss and, and show my grit and, and get out of these um, tough submissions that Jesse put on me, the cut and face adversity and make solutions, I'm, I'm super stoked. Final question, Giancarlo. Hi, Janae. Congrats on the win. Great performance tonight. Uh, just one question for me, this uh, partnership with Bellator now being on CBS Sports. Uh, what do you think that will do for you and uh, the women's divisions in Bellator? Um, unfortunately, I'm not super educated, I guess, in, in the U.S. sort of networking is the only thing. So whatever it is, it's, it's great. Um, the only thing I ask is that we can start working on some sort of connection with the Australian fans. I know especially someone like Arlene, who just previously fought, we're all back home backing her, trying to watch it, and it's a little bit hard. So um, I don't really, no offense to your question, but I, I'm going to kind of avoid it, and I don't really care too much about CBS, but let's get it on Australian TV, and, and let's make it a little bit easier for the guys at home to, to watch me as much as I can. All right. Thanks, Janae. Congratulations. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Whew. Let's get this mask on.